Welcome, friends. Today, we are doing a very special unboxing video. Aha! So, I have told you that I am looking now at only buying fragrances I am sure will improve the collection. Um, and most of the time I stick to that pretty well. Most of the time. And today is one of those instances. Very much one of those instances. Um, so... I'm not going to mess you about any further and just tell you what I have bought. It's this. <laughs> this is a tester box. And sometimes, I've said this many times before, don't be afraid to buy a tester if what you are really interested in is the juice. Full presentation, fully sealed, is the ideal. And is it worth paying more for that? Yes. But when I tell you what this is, you will see why... I went for this straight away. Um, there are many reasons I went for this straight away. I've spent a lot of money on this fragrance, I won't lie to you. Um, I saw that it had been listed by a trusted seller, someone called Sunny, Sunny Mitra, on eBay, who I have bought from, and we now talk away from eBay. We are friends, hopefully. Uh, well, Certainly very, he's been very friendly to me. He's been very good to us. Um, and he listed this, and this is an official tester of an absolutely outrageous fragrance. Oh, for God's sake. It doesn't have a lid, but I don't care. And this is Patou Pour Homme by Jean Patou. An absolute unicorn, one of the most expensive and famous fragrances in men's perfume. Especially if you are a collector of vintage and other rare beasts. Um, fantastic. I am buzzing. I am very, very excited and proud to own this fragrance this is not easy to get and this was roughly half the price of what full bottles of this size go for online you see these going for a thousand quid if you can find them sonny had it listed for 650 he gave us a discount um because i bought some other stuff off him as well and because i know him and he's a really nice bloke I've got to know him and he's a really nice bloke and obviously eBay and that crazy fees are fucking outrageous so not to worry this is a very special fragrance on the back I'll take this off it's just to protect the head it has a list of some notes there's vetiver bourbon there's virginian cedar smysol sandalwood Poivre de Malabar, which you're, you can tell me what that is. I was going to say your guess is as good as mine, but somebody will know what that is. I have no idea. And then there is Sauge Scarly Piment. Piment. I am so sorry if you are French. I do not mean anything by that. Really, I don't. Don't hurt me. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to do that to your lovely language. Um... I haven't sprayed this, so I'm going to do a first impressions as well. Fuck it. Oh, it's been sprayed. But not to worry. It's full. I mean, it's as full as it's fucking going to be. Somebody he might have just sprayed this just to see, or someone who owned it before him might have sprayed this just to see that it was working and stuff. It's not a pressurized spray. It's a, it's an atomizer. That is lovely. That, oh, fuck me. Jumper 2 
before they were bought out, was known for using the highest of high quality ingredients, like the best. Um, nothing can touch them for their ingredients, you know? And Jean Curlio, the, the in-house perfumer, created some of the best fragrances. They just got into the 90s and didn't follow the aquatic trend, you know, and didn't follow the trends. They wanted to make the same perfumes that they'd always been making, and it's been the downfall of many a great business, that, you know? Not just perfumes, but just general businesses. You get stuck... And the idea of if you want a lasting business in the same way, I always think of the Madonna thing. And it's, I mean, Madonna's not, Madonna is not like the world's most like fucking great songwriter. She isn't the fucking, she was never like the best singer. She couldn't play fucking instruments to save her life, but she was adaptable. And that's the name of the game. And you will see a lot of the houses behind in my in my fragrance collection simply didn't adapt or they got too big you know like the dinosaurs they got too big to be able to adapt you know it's one of the things that makes humans so special we are adaptable businesses are not humans anyway I'm not getting into a fucking anthropological fucking Excuse me, must I hydrate? Anthropological fucking social fucking commentary. It's not what I'm not what I'm trying to get into. What I'm saying is Jean Patou is not the house it was. These fucking ingredients, absolutely magnificent. Smell it straight away. This is fucking beautiful. I've spent a lot of money on this. I got a really good discount off him. He's a really good lad, and I do recommend dealing with Sonny. I have had nothing but great dealings with him. Um I don't have like a fucking code for you. I don't get anything off if you buy anything. Um, and if, to be honest with you, if you're not in England, if you're not in Britain, you can't buy anything off him anyway because he can't ship abroad unless you want to buy some of his his vintage um, sporting memorabilia, which I don't. Um, because much like me perfume, if I bought something like that, I'd want to be able to wear it and I doubt they would fit. <laughs> and that's not what I'm into, so... Who knows? I'll put a link to his eBay store or his eBay account in the chat if you want. In the chat? In the um, in the description if you want to go and look him up. Um, he's a really nice bloke and he's got some bloody interesting stuff. Most of what he's got, but not all, are minis. And I have bought quite a few minis off him. And now we are going to go through those as well. This Patu is fucking glorious. Sorry, I feel like I should be making more of the whole Patu thing, but this is just an unboxing, you know? And a, and a first impression. It's fucking stunning. It's blended beautifully, and it smells amazing. It's 90 mils. That's going to go with the Queer de Russie and the fucking vintage Derby, the vintage Coco, um, the Balenciaga Pour Om and the oh noir and all of that sort of like you know those like rare hidden beasts i might do a video on them like creed venicia beautiful all of them all of them sorts of things amazing but before we move on to the minis i also bought another bottle of perfume off him a smaller bottle this time um and this is a one ounce bottle of the original formula of Azaro Pour Homme. And, yes friends, that's right, we're going to do an unboxing of this too. But I'm taking out the bottle because it's got this crazy kind of wrap on the top. Anyway, Zarshi Blow. Oh, it's got this kind of, somebody's put a sticker on the top and I don't want to remove it. <coughs> Sorry for coughing in your ear, I've got this fucking lurking cough. Won't go away. Anyway, it's pouring down outside. But inside we are warmed. Warmed with the glow of vintage perfume. There are some absolutely belting minis here, by the way, as well. Some of the rarest shit. And you know how I love me minis. 
Um, I'm just going to present the minis to you. I'm going to probably go through them when I do my epic mini video, you know. So we'll do that then. But anyway, here is my Azaro Poron, the original. I actually have a 2000 bottle, maybe. Um, oh. Spray's not the world's greatest. It's never been sprayed before either, but there we are. An original. Oh, goodness gracious me. Oh. Give you a touch of wasp from the loft there. Oh. That is glorious, that. Big lavender. Big green mossy thing in the base as well something lurking beneath within deep get it up yeah that is fucking lovely oh a rare treat that is absolutely delightful it's been a good day for vintage perfumes in this house So, now we can move on to the minis. And the first mini I am going to show you is from Jean-Marc Sinan. It is VO. This is just a little rascal. The ball's immense. Look at that. What are you? Come off. Oh, God, it's like Darth Vader. Right. There you go. There's the little mini. Am I going to unbox all of these and show you them? Yes. And that is Jean-Marc Sinan. I have no idea what that's like. It just, it caught my eye. And I thought, sod it, I'm going to have that. None of these were too expensive. There was one of them that was slightly more expensive, which I will show you last. Um, and you will shit, because I shit as well when I saw it. Next, we have something by Omar Sharif. Would you believe Omar Sharif with his fragrance and this is called Ignis. Look at these bottles. Look at these tiny little vintage bottles, man. <laughs> Get in. I like me little toys. Oh, this is the joy of collecting minis. I highly recommend it to you. It's an inexpensive way to experience vintage fragrances and fragrances generally, and they are just cool as fuck, you know? This is something I can recommend to you, you know? Fantastic. Awesome. So next, we have a classic. An absolute classic. And this is a man who has just been featured on a TV program. Oh, you are a little dusty, aren't you? You're a little dusty. And this is... Holston's Z14. Now, I'm not familiar with this. This is a big mini. This is a 12 mil mini. It's more like a travel thing, you know? Um, not for sale. So it was like a free gift with purchase. Um, but these, I mean, fucking, they don't do shit like this anymore. And it's such a fucking travesty, you know? Oh, that bit too is absolutely scandalous. Oh. oh, dear me. Fabulous. So I'm going to get to know these a bit better. Next, we have... Whoops, sorry, off you go. Ricci. This is a Ricci fragrance. Ooh, excuse me. And it is called Nina Ricci Club. And there's no fucking about with that, is there? That is slightly brutalistic. Um, its head is bigger than its body. It's a four mil. It's got a fucking hell of a sprayer. I imagine this is the type of thing you take on like a, like an overnight stay somewhere. You know? I can't imagine that lasting too long. Because you should see the size of the pipe in there. That will, that will go through that fluid with the greatest of ease, mate. With the greatest of ease. But that is Nina Ritchie's club. Oh, look. 
It's even got the Nina Ricci on top. That's more effort than a lot of brands put in these days. You know? For like four bottles. Anyway. Next he sent me a couple of free samples which I will show you. Here is Rocha Louis. He just threw this in. This is a mil and a half. I've got a couple of bottles of this though. So I'm going to give that to somebody. And also... Absolutely outrageously, a vintage sample of Dolce & Gabbana's Pour Arm. And you can tell it's a vintage sample because it's fucking Euro d'Italia. Look at that, at the bottom. There, Monza. Euro d'Italia made in Italy. Madness. It's got like a velvet felt kind of wrap on it. Glorious. I know what they both smell like though, so... Dabba samples though, you know, it's not ideal is it? But we'll let them off. He also sent me a sample of this, which is Ambra Sultan. Never heard of that before. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, down to the final three. And this fragrance <laughs> is another Nina Ritchie. And it's got a fucking mad name. It's called Phileas. This is a 10 mil mini again. I don't think it's for sale. Is it for sale? No, it's not for sale. It's like a little mini you would have bought back in the day. Brilliant. Look at it. Look at it. It's got heft as well, you know. It's a good little bottle, that. Phileas. Hmm, citrusy. It's nice. These are my little minis, my reference minis. Um, but there is five, right? So the last two I've got. I've already got a mini of this one, but I'll show you this. I've got a backup mini anyway, because you just can't find these. This is a fragrance that my brother from another mother told me to find, and I found a mini and bought it. Um, and this is Bally masculine. This is nigh on impossible to find. And when it is found, it's going for silly money. And I don't know why. So. That's Bally masculine. Can't remember. Don't know the notes. Can't remember what it smelled like. Um, but last, we've come to something a little bit special and a little bit different. Bottles of this go for thousands. It's a very rare fragrance and it's got a massive backstory to it. And the perfumer committed suicide and it was pulled from production. Um, very interesting, but very dark. And I think it's the story why people want to own the bottles. I don't necessarily think it's the fragrance. And this is a mini of Nombre Noir, the black number. If you've smelled this, if you know about this, if this is your type of thing, please let me know. I'm looking forward to smelling that. I might do a video about that by itself because I don't think anybody's done one on YouTube. There may be one or two, I don't know. I haven't looked, to be honest with you. But, uh Yes, this has been my vintage haul, both mini and full bottle. I hope you have enjoyed this video as I have enjoyed making it and going through it. That patu is absolutely glorious. Thank you very much for watching everybody. I will see you all again soon. Goodbye.